Again, uh, thank uh, the people of Kaduna State, especially the parents and uh, the general public for their support, understanding, and prayers. And to the press for making this not only a national issue but uh, a global, international issue. Because since uh, the last two, three days, we have been inundated with uh, uh, both national and international media seeking for information. Uh, people offering their own advices, suggestions, and on how to go about uh, in an effort to make sure that uh, the boys are brought uh, back home safely. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, we did with the support of the uh, members of the security forces because mm -hmm. uh, our advice has been they should not fire a shot yet, but uh, they should take over and cordon off the entire area where the boys are so that uh, it is secured uh, and uh, uh, we, those who in, interceded uh, between us, uh, the leadership of Makaban, mm -hmm. that played an important role in, mm -hmm. uh, in the side of talking to us and talking to the bandits mm -hmm. and uh, the successful return of this is really 144. I think it's a wonderful example. So I have responsibility for all the missing children. Mm -hmm. So for me, when the news was brought to me, I thank God. Mm -hmm. Because since it happened, having slept, you can see my eyes, yes. they're blue red all throughout. Because even I go to uh, I go to my room, I go to the bed, five, ten minutes I just wake up and start thinking. So I I, I we, we thank God and uh, we we certainly there are some lessons that we have learned mm -hmm. and uh, we also hear from uh, the lead person, the Leader of Meta Allah of the, the, the how the discussion went mm -hmm. and uh, how we arrived at where we are. Mm -hmm. But we do know that we do not uh, pay money to get them back. Every episode you learn something and you take measures to prevent its occurrence. Now we have sent fence all the schools already. We have provided security wells in the schools already. Now what next is to further uh, employ more armed guards and the police to send in more. You know, in Ankara there were only two uh, armed policemen, and we have uh, security guards that are not uh, armed. But now I think the situation has to change. That we have to have permission and the police will bring in more men fully armed and uh, where there is need also the our own security to use security companies that will be given license to hold firearms in order to protect uh, children in school because schooling is very important it's very critical and children must go to school so we must do whatever it takes to make sure that they are secure in attendance school.